Welcome back to the e-commerce course guys. This is the CSS section of it. I've been through the HTML. If you want to learn that, I've got a, a small HTML course to get you guys up to scratch. Um, this is the CSS section and CSS is all about styling your page. It's an easy way to style your website consist consistently using what we call styles. All right? So in this video, I'm just going to make a simple uh, HTML page and I'm going to link it uh, to a CSS uh, document. Our CSS document is linked in our HTML page by um, uh, using a, uh, a tag in the head called uh, link. So we're going to link the uh, document to the HTML document. So, uh, right to begin with, I want to introduce you guys to another. Well, it's like a declaration. We're going to tell the browser that this is a HTML document. All right, so it's called doc type. All right, and then we just put HTML. So this just tells the browser that we that this is an HTML document and it always goes before the HTML tag. Alright guys, so close this off. And if you remember from the HTML course, uh, our HTML document split into two sections, the head uh, and the body. And I'm going to put a title for our web page. I'm going to call it my first CSS uh, web page. Alright, we set up our HTML document now. Um, let's just put a H1 in here, guys. Uh, my first CSS styled web page. Okay. Alright, we set up our document and um, I've saved it out. It's on my desktop. Um, and so, if you were open documents, guys, I've hit them at the moment, but you can press Command and O or you can go up here to the view and uh, show files so this shows all the currently open files okay so I'm going to go and command and, and new and immediately I'm going to save this out on my desktop I'm going to call it uh, CSS and um, all the CSS files guys have uh, .css pref uh, suffix on the end alright so .css let's save it out again okay now um, I'm going to introduce you to the basic syntax of CSS um, by the way, guys, CSS, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. All right, it's just a sheet full of styles. And um, all right, the first thing I'm going to introduce you to is comments. We can comment anything we want in a CSS file using this uh, these uh, symbols: forward slash asterisk, asterisk forward slash to close the the comment. And we can just say uh, this is the main CSS file for our web page. Okay, so. Put anything you want in the comment, and um, you know the browser will just ignore it. It's just for you guys to to understand your your code, all right? So, um, right in this in this uh, example, I'm I'm just going to edit some HTML tags. That's what that's what you can do in CSS, guys. So, um, for example, we can uh, write the p tag for the paragraph, and we edit it within the curly braces. Okay, so we've declared the p tag. And in the curly braces, we can edit it. Okay, and uh, what some people do is do this: put the curly brace after the the, uh, the tag we're editing, and we put all the stuff in here we want to edit. Okay, so all the all the formatting. All right, so um, these are called properties. So uh, I'll put that here. Properties. All right, so all the properties of the p tag are, we're going to write in here. Right, so for example, we can change anything we want: uh, the text size, the color, the background, um, where the where the tag is positioned, and we, it, we, once we link this uh, CSS file to our index page, every time we write the p tag, let's write this is a paragraph, just for example, paragraph. Um, sorry guys, it's nine in the morning. I'm still a bit tired. <laughs> um, all right, let's open this in Chrome so you guys can see what it's about. All right, so we've got our H1 and our this is a paragraph. And by the time we're done with our CSS and we've linked it to this document, this will look completely different, okay? So the first thing I want to change is the font size. And to do that, we just put font slash size in our CSS document, um, followed by a colon, right? That's what we do. And then we put the value. So we can put, for example, 14 pixels. Okay, so that's as simple as that. Our properties are font size and uh, our value is 14 pixels. All right, guys. So that's how we do that in CSS. Okay. Um, let's slot align this to the center. So text align. 
center. All right, simple as that. Um, we can make the text italic, bold, or underlined. All right, so uh, to do the underlined, we, we use text decoration. Underline. All right. Um, by the way, guys, we can leave as many white spaces as we want. Uh, doesn't matter. And um, for the for the bold, we put font weight. Oops, sorry, weight uh, bold. All right, guys. So let's just um, let's link this to our HTML document. And see what we've done so far. I think that'd be the easiest way to do it. All right, guys. So uh, we do it in the head of our HTML document, and we use a new tag called link. All right. So link, and it closes itself, guys. So one of those self-closing tags. Um, all right. We need a, a attribute called uh, a rel. This specifies the type of link we're doing, and it's called style sheet. All right, that's what we're going to link it to: a style sheet, a CSS one. Um, we supply the link to the file, so href. All right, so it's called CSS. Dot CSS. And the other one we need, guys, is type. What type is it? Well, we put text dot text slash CSS. All right, that's what that's the type of document it is. Okay, guys, and that's all we need to link our uh, document. I've saved it out. Let's refresh. So there you go, it's underlined, it's centered, it's bold. And uh, what's the other thing we did, guys? The size is uh, 14 pixels. All right, let's just experiment with this a bit. Let's put 18. There we go, it's going up. So it's simple as that, guys. We can format the page, we can make it look pretty using CSS. And in HTML, we just bulk out the, the content of the web page. So, um, that's why this is why I shied away from formatting HTML in the HTML course. Um, as you can see, it's much easier in the CSS file. So um, that's all it is, guys. CSS is basically declaring a bunch of properties to uh, various tags in HTML, and we can. Um, this is another concept, guys. I'm going to go through in this course. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own uh, elements. And what do I mean by that? Well, in HTML, we've got a tag called uh, div. All right, we can close it, open it, and close the div like that. And this is an element in your web page. Um, let me say this is an element. And um, what if I wanted to style this? So let me just refresh. There we go. It's just text at the moment. Well, we can style this in two ways in CSS, guys. Um, in CSS, there's two types of styles we can use for this. Um, there are classes, all right, and there are IDs. Let's call this IDs like that. Classes are declared like this, guys. We put a, we put a period followed by the name of our CSS uh, style. So we can call this my style. If I can spell that right, and do exactly the same. Just block it out like that. And IDs are the same as the uh, same kind of stuff, but instead of the period, we put a hash. All right, guys. So we can say my ID. Let's say that, and let's change this to my class. Actually, It'd be easier. So, what's the difference between classes and IDs? Well, IDs you can only use once on your web page, guys. So, um, use these once in each HTML web page. Classes you can use as many times as you want. And to uh, put these on the web page, guys, we just put we can say div class equals uh, what did we call it again? Uh, my class. So my class. And as simple as that. All right. With the IDs, we put div ID equals my what did we put again? My ID. And then we can style this. Uh, let's put this as a this is an ID. This is a class, all right, guys. So let's refresh this for a sec. As you can see, the li the line it line breaks because of the tag, uh, the div tag. So then we can style it as we want, all right, guys. So we can put I don't know color. We can make the color different. Um, let's try that. Boom! Now it's blue. By the way, guys, I've just memorized these uh, hexadecimal values. So if you don't know them, it's fine. You can just put blue if you wanted to. Blue. See, I've refreshed the page and it's still blue. All right, and for the class, let's just make it. I don't know. Um, let's text align it to the center. I just want to keep things simple for now. All right, guys. So um, just to demonstrate this, we can use uh, the class as many times as we want. Class, class. 
alright guys um, and with the IDs just use them once in a HTML document alright we can refer to LM we can refer to uh, these in JavaScript we can refer to them by the class name or the ID and uh, I think that's as uh, complicated as CSS gets guys uh, we're just declaring a bunch of uh, properties in our tags or our own styles alright so we can edit HTML tags we can change the look of uh, any any of our tags in HTML and we can create our own styles via IDs or classes all right classes you can use over and over again IDs just use them once in your web page guys and uh, I think this is all I wanted to go through in this video so um, in this course I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through a bunch of properties and how to use them effectively in your web pages and then we'll start to really make our web pages look nice uh, nice and professional for people to use alright so that's the aim of this little CSS course and then we'll just crack, get cracking on our, on our PHP and start making our e-commerce website alright guys so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next CSS video